Hi guys, welcome to Figma Talk. Today, I'm going to show you a super cool plugin that helps you create an icon library for your design system. This is my first video on the channel, and I hope to continue creating more videos in the future. Please take a moment to watch the video, and if you enjoyed it, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and share it with your design friends. Your support means a lot to me, and it will motivate me to create more content like this. Alright, let's get started. I have both Figma and Adobe Illustrator open. I'm going to create the icons in Illustrator and then copy them to Figma. Let's search for icons of a bulb on Google. Great, here are the results. We'll create a library of five bulb icons. Let me copy a few icons to Illustrator. Let's copy four more bulb icons and paste them in Illustrator. Here's a helpful trick to create icons, simply copy the images directly from the Google search results page. No need to open the images in a new tab and then copy, just copy them straight from here to Illustrator. Okay, cool. We now have five icons in Illustrator. Next, we need to convert them to vectors. To do that, I'm going to trace and expand them, so they become vector icons. I'm going to do the same for all images that are copied to Illustrator. Note that I have copied black and white icons from Google, so that it's easy to trace and expand in Illustrator. When you're done tracing the image, make sure to group each of them so that each icon won't be broken. Now, I'm going to resize all the icons. And I'll explain later why I'm doing this. All done. Now we have to copy them to Figma. You may notice that the icons are different sizes, but don't worry about it. Let me paste them into Figma. All right, all icons are now in Figma. Now, let the game begin. I'm just grouping them again here, and then we can arrange them. We need all icon in same size and we need to create icon library in our design system. That is our task. We need all icons in same size, it will help in replacing the icons when it is used in designs. Let me search for our plugin, the name is Icon Grid Maker, and here it is. Alright, now let's work with the plugin. Our goal is to create a frame for each icon and then convert them into components. Currently, our icons are in different sizes, but with the help of this plugin, we can easily make them all the same size. Inside the plugin, you'll notice options like Icons Per Row, which allows us to control how many icons we want per row. Let's set it to 20, even though we only have 5 icons for now. Next, there's the Frame Size option. By defining a frame size, the plugin will automatically resize the icons to fit within that frame. We usually use 24 pixels as the standard frame size. Keep in mind that if you need to create different size versions of the same icon, you can define different frame sizes for each variation. Alright, before proceeding, let's attempt to fix the icon sizes manually. I'll start by changing the width of the icon to 24px, but as you can see, the height automatically adjusts accordingly. I'll try doing the same for all the icons. However, imagine having a library with 100 icons, manually resizing each one would be a challenging task. Let me undo the action, and now the icons are back to their original sizes. Now, let's give the plugin a try. I'll select all the icons and run the plugin. With just one click, we can see all our icons being resized and reframed to a uniform size of 24px. Now, I'm going to convert each icon to a component. Let's get started.
the icon components are now ready, and as you can see, all the icons are set to 24px in size. Now, I'm going to rename them. Let's call each icon, icon1, icon2, and so on. I've decided not to combine them as variants, because we need all icons as separate components. This way, it's easier to find and use them individually. The icons are now ready, and we can proceed to publish them to our design system. I'll rename the file as, test icons and publish it. To do this, navigate to, file and then the libraries. Here, you'll find the components that are not yet published. All our icons are listed here, and I'm going to publish them now. Once published, we can test and use them in our design projects. Let's put it to the test. I'll create a button component with a trailing icon. First, I'll add some text and call it, button. Then, I'll search for icons from our library and add an icon to the button. To ensure a consistent layout, I'll add an auto layout and set the padding to 8px. Now, we can create the button component. Alright, our button component is ready. I will rename the component as, button, and proceed to publish it as well. Next, I'll add a swap property to the icon. I'll select all our icons and assign them to the swap properties. This way, we can easily swap icons in the button later when we use them in designs. Perfect! It's working as expected. You can easily swap icons from the properties panel of the component. Great job! You've created an icon library and integrated it into a component. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and enjoyable to learn from. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to my channel and sharing it with your design team. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you.